Hello everyone. I would like to share a story with you about why these two photographs may have something in common. We're here at the Birmingham Zoo. Now the Birmingham Zoo is my one kink in the chain in putting the Jasper dinosaur at the Discovery Place saying that the dinosaur that is at the, that was at the Discovery Place used to be at the Birmingham Zoo. The reptile house at the Birmingham Zoo is why I am here today because our friend from the Discovery Place, Seymour, used to be on top of the reptile house here at the Birmingham Zoo. Now, the Birmingham Zoo was started in 1955, but the reptile house was not built until 63 and opened in 64. But it opened during the turmoil of the civil rights movement in Birmingham. And there was also other things happening at the zoo. And I cannot find any pictures, any photographs of the dedication, nor can I find a picture on a postcard or any other photograph. All I can go by is people here at the zoo that have been here for a long time. And they remember the dinosaur being at the zoo to begin with, then going to the discovery place to just simply saying the dinosaur went from Jasper to the Discovery Place. Or I would like to say the dinosaur went to the Discovery Place from Jasper via the Birmingham Zoo. That's entirely possible. Now from what I understand, this is the reptile house that the dinosaur sat on top of. Now this zoo at that time in 1963, when this house was constructed, was called the Jimmy Morgan Zoo. What we'll do is we'll go up to where the Discovery Place was and look at the city from the cliff that it's located, or was located on. This is the footprint of the Discovery Museum, and this is where the dinosaur would have been. Our friend Sinclair that became Seymour on top of Red Mountain here. Now just below us is the cut of the Red Mountain Expressway, and behind us in the distance you can see the city of Birmingham. And when the Red Mountain Museum was opened up, a walkway along the mountain was opened up right over there. And at some point, like 97 or something, the Discovery Place and the Red Mountain Museum came together to form Discovery 2000. And that's when they moved down to the, uh, the old Loveman's building and became the McWayne Center after it was Discovery 2000. So in this photograph I'm showing you, and that's looking toward the alley where I was standing. And then I noticed this white van. And there is a structure. We are back here in Jasper and we are in our alley where we think the photograph was taken. And uh, we have taken a photograph that mimics where we think the fellow was standing when he was pointing at the dinosaur. So now we're going to walk over this way. The back behind me, that building with the blue roof would have been, it's the Civic Center now, but it would have been the uh, where the hospital was located. So I'm thinking that the fellow that took the picture was more over that way. So where he just was standing, right there beside that pole. See, right over there would have been where the van was parked. And so as I walk straight from there, this building is in the way. So I can't really walk straight. But as I go this way, uh, I would like to say that uh, I really, really enjoyed doing this. I've met a lot of people here in, Bur in uh, Jasper and got to reconnect with a lot of friends in Birmingham and uh, I appreciate them helping me and dealing with my questions in search of my folly here. And also the fella at, uh, that I spoke with that interned at the Discovery Place, him talking about that he had to patch Seymour up all the time because uh, somebody threw a cinder block through his side one time and then uh, cut off his head. You can see in that photograph I have where the repair is done on Seymour and that they had to fill him with concrete, which is a shame. So, and, and even here, when I heard that he was made out of fiberglass, 
that gave uh, it became plausible a fellow here in Jasper said the dinosaur that was in Jasper was blown here from that Sinclair station that was a couple of blocks over so it's just been an interesting thing but looking here at the back of the building but the alley is pretty much straight back here in the aerial photo we saw what was possibly two gas pumps and then the house that the dinosaur sat on the uh, dinosaur at the discovery place was given to the birmingham zoo by the sinclair oil company and uh, put on top of the reptile house and the fellow that was over at the zoo at the time recalled that from there, that Sinclair dinosaur went to the Discovery Place and became Seymour. And so, and the Jasper dinosaur, he went somewhere else. And of course, the Discovery dinosaur, he's somewhere else now too. So I'm going to end this in the same alley that I began. I want to thank my husband too, because he has really been in on this too. He's had a good time with it. He's actually the one that found the photograph. But I thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you next time on Life in Bama.